Welcome back to my channel. As large language models get bigger, they become more expensive to train and deploy. In the previous video, we explored the mixture of experts approach, which reduces computational costs to just 18% of traditional dense models. Today, we dive into DeepSeq V2's multi-head latent attention, exploring how it uses a fraction of the resources while outperforming the standard multi-head attention approach. Let's get started. DeepSeq V2 is a decoder-only language model with 236 billion total parameters with only 21 billion activated parameters per token. It supports a 128k token context length and achieves significantly stronger performance than DeepSeq 67B. Its MOE architecture cuts training costs by 42.5% while boosting generation throughput 5.76 times. Its multi-head latent attention architecture reduces KV cache by 93.3%, ensuring efficient inference. DeepSeq V2 inherits the transformer architecture, where each layer consists of an attention module and a feedforward network. For the feedforward network, DeepSeq V2 adopts the DeepSeq MOE architecture. For attention, DeepSeq V2 introduces multi-head latent attention, or MLA, which utilizes low-rank key-value joint compression. The standard multi-head attention in transformers suffers from high KV cache requirements, which create an inference bottleneck. Approaches like grouped query attention and multi-query attention reduce cache size but compromise performance. DeepSeq V2 introduces multi-head latent attention, which uses low-rank KV joint compression to reduce cache size. The standard multi-head attention takes an input token embedding and projects it into query, key, and value matrices using learned weight matrices. Query, key, and value matrices are then split into multiple attention heads. Each head processes a smaller dimensional representation of the original vector in parallel, allowing the model to focus on different aspects of the input sequences. Then, each attention head computes attention scores. The dot product similarity computes how similar the query at token T is to the key at token J. The division by the square root of DH normalizes values to stabilize training. Softmax normalizes attention scores across all previous tokens from 1 to the current token T, ensuring they sum to 1. The attention scores weigh the corresponding values, giving a new representation output for the subject attention head. The outputs from all attention heads are concatenated back into a single vector. A weight matrix WO projects the concatenated vector back to the original embedding dimension, ensuring that multi-head attention still outputs a vector of the same dimension as the input. K and V of all prior tokens are stored at KV cache, so when a new token comes in, the new token attends to past K and V stored in the cache without calculating them again. However, Storing KV cache for every token creates a large memory bottleneck. To address the memory bottleneck, DeepSeq introduces the low rank KV joint compression. HT is the original token representation. WDKV is a down projection matrix that reduces the dimensionality. Through this equation, key and value representations are compressed into C a low-dimensional latent representation that stores only the essential information, reducing memory usage. During inference, we reconstruct K from C to the original size to compute attention scores. We also reconstruct V to compute the weighted values. During K and V compression, some details are lost, but with proper training, the matrices retain essential data discard redundancy, and reduce computational costs without impacting performance. Low-rank compression can also be applied to queries to further reduce memory usage and computation. In addition, the associative law of matrix multiplication states that when multiplying three matrices, their grouping does not change the result. Therefore, matrices like WUK can be merged into WQ, and WUV can be merged into WO. Therefore, instead of explicitly computing the full-sized K and V, 
we can merge their transformations into the WQ and WO to further reduce computation overhead during inference. However, due to the absorption process, rotary position embedding is incompatible with low-rank KV compression, as rope introduces position sensitivity to keys and queries, making absorption impossible. To address this, a decoupled rope strategy is introduced, where the compressed query is projected to obtain decoupled queries. Rope is then applied to encode positional information into these queries. The result is a set of position-aware queries across all attention heads. Similarly, the original input representation is projected to produce decoupled keys. Rope is applied to make these keys position-aware. The compressed queue from low-rank KV compression and the rope-transformed query are concatenated. This allows each head to use both the compressed representation and positional information. Similar to Q, the compressed K is concatenated with the rope-transformed K. The attention score for each token is computed using both compressed and rope-enhanced Q and K. The denominator includes the dimension of the rope-transformed matrices to ensure proper scaling of the attention weights. The weighted sum of compressed V is then used to compute the attention output. The attention outputs from all heads are concatenated and projected to restore the original embedding dimension. This method allows MLA to use rope without breaking low-rank KV compression. MLA significantly reduces KV cache size, requiring only as much storage as GQA with 2.25 groups. In DeepSeq V2, the KV compression dimension is set to four times the size of each attention head, while the decoupled rope dimension is set to half the size of each attention head. This configuration allows DeepSeq V2 to maintain low memory usage. The evaluation of the proposed MLA and the traditional MHA across MOE models of two different scales shows that MLA outperforms MHA on four challenging benchmarks. Additionally, MLA requires significantly less KV cache, 14% of MHA's KV cache for small MO models and only 4% for large MO models, significantly improving efficiency. DeepSeek's innovations drive progress toward artificial general intelligence while ensuring efficient training and inference. Future plans include expanding into multiple modalities for enhanced versatility. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.